Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for a new episode of KOS. It will be a very short episode because I just wanted to uh, talk about Visual Studio Code. It is a very versatile ed uh, external editor. You can use it with a lot of programming languages, uh, for example, Jupyter, Java development, and you can use it for KOS. Um, here is my uh, script, my test script, you know it. It is saved in uh, my KSP folder, shipped script folder and launch.ks. Nothing to tell about uh, the script itself. But you can install an uh, extension for Visual Studio Code VSC uh, to use with a KS program. Here in the left menu, you have extensions. You can search for KOS. You have three KOS files. This one, I don't know the language, so I don't know what it is. And there is this one and the first one. I prefer the first one. It has syntax highlighting, autocomplete and language diagnostic. So I just have to click to click install. The installation is very quick. And now you see that uh, the keywords are highlighted. Clear screen, stage, wait until the variable is written in uh, white and the, um, the digits, the numbers are written uh, in an other color. That, um, that's amazing your script is uh, easier to read and you can see um, quickly where are the variables, where are the keywords. Uh, if you want to print something, uh, you can print and you see it proposes you uh, some words. So here uh, I have a mistake, uh, so I can click on print and automatically it writes print. Um, quotes uh, the quote here, a uh, character, uh, ignition. And you see between two quotes characters, uh, the words are written in yellow. So you can see immediately where are the words that you want to uh, print uh, on the terminal. And um, here I have a mistake, an error is, uh, is notified, expected the uh, period character. So if you make a mistake, uh, you, it recognizes the, the mistake and that is very great. Uh, it saves you a lot of time. So here I just have to uh, add the, um, the period character. And uh, if I want to print uh, the time seconds, time and the colon character and here all the words I can write after this uh, time. Uh, those are uh, what it is called uh, structures, and uh, there is a lot of there are a lot of structures in KOS. Um, and uh, here I want the structures the structure seconds with the um, period character. But you see, you you can have everything you want. Calendar, okay. I just have to type C calendar o'clock and the uh, tabulation key, key. Okay, calendar. Oh. This will spare you a lot of time. Uh, you will see your error, you will see uh, where are your keywords, uh, where are the, your variables, and uh, it is a great tool, a great external editor. Uh, I, I use it a lot and I will use it for uh, all the next videos about KOS. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.